Hi everybody, today we're looking at a Marvel Legends Thor Ragnarok. Oh, I liked how I rolled my tongue. Rrr. Hi everybody, it's Peter here, your Ginger Jordy Geek. Welcome back to Triple G Comics. If you like comic book related content and toy content, please think about subscribing. And if you like this video, please make sure to hit the uh, like button and the bell notification. So today we're looking at a Thor Ragnarok figure from the Marvel Legends line. Ragnarok, for those of you that don't know, is basically a cyborg version of Thor and was created using his genetic material and some technology. And he kind of feature, featured prominently during the Civil War storyline where um, unfortunately he murdered Bill Foster, um, Giant Man. Really worth checking out that series. It's a tremendous um, storyline. So this figure is basically part Thor, part robot, and you can see from the, the imagery on the box there, he comes with quite a few accessories, including a spare head um, and his Molinier. Love the spinning Molinier. Cannot wait to get into it. I think it's going to be tremendous. Box art's pretty clean. You get the clear plastic, which is going to be phased out soon. And then you've got your standard art in the back there and on the sides and whatnot. Um, really nice image of Thor with a little bit of a breakdown about Ragnarok on the back. And at the side, you've also got just your nice clean image of Thor and your Thor hammer emblem on the top. So, look smart. Let's just crack on and get into it and see what this figure's like. Right then, here we go. Looking absolutely amazing. have to say, I don't have a lot of Marvel Legends. I've got the Captain Carter figure, ofs. Um, but this thing has really impressed us. It's tempting us to get more, I have to say. So let's just crack on. You get your spare hand, and that's obviously to replace the robotic hand. You get your spare head, which is pretty cool. I love the features on that. Now, he has got red eyes, clone red eyes. If I am going to keep this and turn it into a Thor figure, I may paint them blue, um, but it's stunning. I like that. Oh, I love it. This is the thing that I really wanted. You get the Thor hammer effect, the Molinier effect. And as you can see, each Molinier has got the full inscription on it, just like the, the, the hammer you get, the standard hammer you get with them. And this just looks beautiful. This looks really nice. Um, and the idea, obviously, is it represents the hammer. Can I do it justice there? The hammer spinning away which I just think is, it's just tremendous. I think it's amazing. Really, really nice looking effect that. And then you get the figure himself and it's absolutely brilliant. I love the color scheme. I love the detail in it. I love the costume. He's dude. I love the original costume, obviously. Um, the robot face, the, the, you know, the Ragnarok face actually looks really, really good. Um, the vein work on his arms, it's bothering us because I love it. Uh, and I wanted to turn it into a Thor, but actually I really like the Ragnarok look as well. I might have to buy another bloody one and have them fight each other. All right, that's what I'm going to do. This is what I want from Hot Toys. This is, or a third party, I want a classic Thor figure, which we've never gotten. So we've got lots of Chris Helmsworth versions, which don't float me boat. And we've got a sideshow version, which is bizarre. It's just, it's an interpretation of Thor, but it's not Thor. So this is what I want. If anybody's listening. Who's listening? People has listened to my videos. If anybody is listening, I want a, th a third party comic accurate Thor, which is just like this. Right, let's get his head and hand changed and get the, the um, hammer into his hand. There we go, guys. He looks phenomenal. Um, first thing I'll point out is changing the head and the hand was really straightforward unlike some of the hot toys i've had these things just popped on and off really really easily and um, so we're really pleased with that i guess what i would say is the hammer effect is very heavy so it does put them off balance a little bit i need to think of a better way of, of putting them on the stands you don't get um much articulation with his head but as you can see the effect looks tremendous um i'm sure there's loads i can do to play around with this guy to make him, him look even better but my um, my first thoughts on this are it's brilliant I love it I think I paid around about 30 pound 35 pound for this which isn't bad I don't think for a for a figure of this standard its quality is much better than expected the paintwork superb um 
I'm gushing here, guys. You all know that Thor is my favourite character anyway, but to have a comic accurate version that looks this good and has the you know the whole hammer effect and all the rest of it, um, I'm over the moon, over the moon. Um, yeah, I just think he looks brilliant. So, I think, well, I don't think, I know I'm going to get another version of this and have Thor versus Ragnarok. Okay, guys, so that is Thor Ragnarok from the Marvel Legends line. Um, a really nice figure. If you like Thor, um, I would really recommend picking this one up because it is a beaut. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.